just going to share a little tip with you today about mounting. Um, you know, a lot of people get uh, frustrated on the mounting block here when the horse won't stand next to it, you know. We've all had that. But um, it's actually a good thing. If your horse won't stand next to this block, then it doesn't want you to get on, okay? Or you need to do some more desensitizing. Um, something's wrong with maybe your relationship, or maybe it's afraid you're going to get on. Okay, so I'm going to stand right up on the top one here. It's pretty intimidating. Um, the mounting block's real handy if you've got a tall horse, taller than this one, and uh, so you don't have to put that sideways pull on the on the saddle when you hop on. Uh, just for the record. This is kinder. When you do hop on, you really need to be going this way back to front when you're getting on your horse. Not this way, sideways. Their backs aren't designed for that sort of strength. Okay? And it's probably a bit easier for someone with a lot of upper body strength to pull themselves up rather than push themselves up with their stirrup. Okay? So be careful of that. Even better, use a mounting block. So here we go. <laughs> Hard enough for me to get up there. <laughs> That's why I need the mounting block. All right, I'm going to ask my um, horse to come over here. This isn't my horse. Um, actually, Meredith's trained in this horse. It's here. Meredith's my wife. But I thought we'd do a little video for you. So here I'd like um, Kinder to walk up and put his saddle next to this mounting block. There we go. Good boy. All right, and that's it. And if, if you've had real trouble getting your horse into this position, don't get on. Hop down, hop back up again, do the other side, and get them used to getting desensitized to this here. Okay, and that's it. And again, when you hop on, try not to pull your saddle sideways. Remember to subscribe or comment or like or whatever you're watching this on and uh, we'll see you next time.